Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms and uh, did a video on the 3010 Kawasaki Mule the other day and it's winter time here, it's getting cold. So we're gonna be putting some windshield and uh, building a cab, doors, the whole works to go around it. So I'm gonna start out with the windshield on this one and kind of show you how I built it. Uh, as I showed you in the other video, I've got a top on it that pretty much uh, it's, uh, I believe it's a John Deere Gator one. I found it on the side of the highway years ago, and it's like, hey, it's free. At the time, these were pretty expensive. Did a little modification to it, made it work for this, but, uh, you know, top's good, but it still gets cold. So, here's uh, the next step that I did. So, I got on eBay and was going to order a windshield, and like an idiot, I thought I'd try to save a little money this one was a little cheaper. Well, I didn't realize it's only about maybe a foot and a half tall, so it doesn't cover the whole thing. But it actually combines with some plexiglass, works really good. And we leave this on most of the year. It does kind of help when you get a big rainstorm, and but it still lets you get the airflow. So we have this, but what I did is I went and got some plexiglass. And this is the plexiglass. I got a big sheet. If you're using this for tractors, for side-by-sides, for windshields, for anything, get the thickest they sell because this stuff, you've got to drill through it to mount it, and it's very fragile if you get the thin stuff. It breaks really easy, and this one's lasted me about five years now. But the, the, the nice thing, I had a, a friend, a, a guy that I used to serve with in the Navy, was up camping at our place, and his tires were bald on his Jeep. So I'm like, hey, take the mule, use it for hauling your stuff, for getting around. And uh, he ended up driving it off a uh, pretty good embankment, about a three foot embankment into a creek. Had his dog on there, dog flew up. Actually, the windshield kept his dog from flying out of the cab and he hit his head on it. A thinner one would have just shattered and uh, cracked and been no good. And once they crack, you really can't fix these. But this one held up, like I said, this was a th Thickest one, uh, I think I got it at Home Depot when I got it. It's about a hundred bucks, but uh, again, it's lasted five years, so well worth it. And you can kind of see in it where I've drilled different holes around. And I just use zip ties uh, to mount it, hook it up to all the roll bars. That one goes on the top and then the smaller one kind of goes on the bottom. And with the smaller one on the bottom, it's nice because if I end up needing to get under the hood, I can just open the smaller one up and uh, it gives me access to the hood. So I'm gonna grab some zip ties here and best way to do it is you start out with the very top one, uh, one of the top two, get them not tight, but where they're kind of hanging. That way uh, you can kind of work, move it around and get it where you need to be. So I'm gonna grab some zip ties and I'm gonna jump in there and get those top two mounted. And uh, then I'll go to the next video. All right, now I got the first two in, but I got them loose because that way you wanna kind of be able to maneuver it left and right and get it exactly where you want it and start tightening up these lower ones. Then you come back and tighten up the top ones. All right, now I got the first two in, but I got them loose because that way you want to kind of be able to maneuver it left and right and get it exactly where you want it and start tightening up these lower ones. Then you come back and tighten up the top ones. All right, we got us a windshield now. Uh, I've got a back window that I've made. I got to do a little modification to it. And uh, then we're going to start on some doors, but the wind's picking up, so it's getting harder and harder to hear while I'm taping out here, even though I'm in the barn. So I'm gonna wrap this one up and uh, next video I'll be uploading here in a couple days will either be the back window or the start of the doors. It's Matt the Momo Hunter for McGee Farms. Again, if you like the video, uh, please consider subscribing to us. Give us a like, leave a comment. It's all very much appreciated.